Charlotte here and today we're going to be doing the Woodlands cage theme well cage themes because technically we've got two different prints but I thought I'd do them at the same week for each cage because obviously it's nice to have a bit of cohesiveness if that's a word uh, so I'm going to give you an overview first just of the whole entire cage so these three girls that you can see there there, there, that's Clara, Daphne and Arabella they have in total a 2x6 and a half CNC size cage so this bit is a 2x4 and then this bit is a 2x2.5 bit and then they've obviously got the loft section that you can see Arabella in and then we'll just move over and then you can see little Finley and Tabitha so these two have a 2x4.5 on the bottom CNC size and again they have the same loft size at the top so I've been planning these themes for quite a while now I've had the woodland theme prints for this side of the cage for months and months and months and I've had this side I was planning to do this actually in August but I never got around to it and yeah but I will get on and I'll start with the girls side and show you a more in detail overview so this is the girls side and this is their kitchen kind of area and then I'll just give you an overview of the whole print and then it comes to their hay box which I'll just show you there and then their loft section and that's it so I'll start in the area that I normally do which is the kitchen area so they've got two living world bottles on the side there and they have their pets play flower bowl dish they have some little drip pads that I made myself ages ago like probably years ago now we've got a cozy and clean 2x2 two two liner there which fits nicely and then we have the rosewood polka dot twin bowl and then where little Clara is sleeping we have a little purple microfiber mat all of the links for everything will be in the description below, so don't worry. Then we've got some Pets Play Flower Cheese, which again, I still need to move. <laughs> we have a little rabbit Snuggy, and I believe this was from TK Maxx. This was, again, a good while ago, definitely over a year. Now they're all starting to drink their water, so it's going to be fun. Then we've got some little wooden twig toys from Chinchilla's Tea Shop, along with a Playtime Little Critter Creations Cupcake. Right in the back corners there we have a one by well just over one by one extra pad that I made out of the fabric and two cuddle cups that I made and then we just have we have a main cozy bed and burrows liner underneath this fabric this is just a bit of fabric that I've cut over the top and I find it works really well and it makes a cage theme way cheaper instead of getting full liners then in front of here we have a little, I can't remember what they're called, uh, it's like a corn husk little roller toy, it's from Rosewood and uh, they all seem to like it. I got a pack of these, they come in a pack of two which is really handy for having two cages and I got those for Finley's birthday and Finley will be one in a couple of days on the 20th of October but by the time you probably see this video I don't know if it'll be up by then. And then we've got a chinchillas to rat and ball. As their tunnel for this theme, we've got a hay tunnel, and I've never actually given them a hay tunnel before. So I got these, and these were from the brand Happy Pet, I believe, and I got them on Amazon, and they were about five pounds each, which I thought was quite good value. So because they've got a bottom, I've put an extra pad in there, because if they wee, obviously it will just ruin it, and it'll hopefully make it more snuggy to sit in. Hey, Arabella. Then we've got some little jingly balls, which again, in my last tour you would have seen, were from Pets at Home, and I just put them on a little hanging toy kebab. Daphne is standing on a 1x2 CNC grid pad that I made again about a year ago at least. And then we've got, she's demonstrating our happy rabbit company hay feeder, and this is a real good hay feeder, I love it. The girls love it and those who did love it when they had it and Tabitha loved it a bit too much. So the hay feeder is a really really good option and I find that it keeps a lot more of the hay in but also it's easier for them to get out than a hay bag I found 
and it's really good value as well so I've got a link to a video that I'll put in the description which has this in more detail and has the link to the Happy Rabbit Company too. Switching back to this side we've got the ramp that takes them up to the second level and this has some little guinea pig weekly stickers on the front so there's the little fairy piggy and the ladybug piggy and then here we have a hanging little hot air balloon that I got from Twilight Chinchilla but we got that in our haul, well our trade haul from Heather and from Love at First Week and I absolutely adore it, it goes so perfectly with the painting in these cages and I just love it. Then up in the upper loft section we have a custom made pad liner that I made for this loft because obviously it's a bit of an awkward shape so I had to make one myself and we've got like these little that's a little pig and then we've got a little bunny and those are from child's bibs and I've just cut off the straps and I think they make a nice little extra decoration instead of having a full liner on the top there that's a proper pattern like down below so I think it kind of ties it in and then we've got a pets play little flower toy over there we've got a little igloo there and it's got a cover that I got from hmm, where did I get it from? it will be in the description but it's definitely from Etsy and I got that from America so I've got two of them at the time and then we've got another microfiber mat which again is from eBay and I'll leave the link in the description we've got a homemade DIY uh, toy and most of the bits on that are from Chinchilla's Tea Shop and the Bird Parrot Company I think <laughs> I'll again leave the link to the video for that because I did film it and talk you through it so if you're interested in making one very similar. Then we've got a Pets Play Little Flower Dumbbell in the back there. And then lastly we have a little lamb bed and this is a little crash pad I think she calls them. And this is from Piggy Palace or Pimp My Piggy. I think it's Pimp My Piggy or Pimp My Piggy Palace. I think it kind of flicks between both but this we got at Easter because it was Easter themed with the lamb and it's so so adorable she only sells them when she's able to because I think she has um, a health condition which means she obviously can't do it as often and do custom orders anymore but if you ever look have definitely always have a regular look that's what I do and I absolutely love her stuff because they're all novelty kind of beds okay so moving on to the middle of the cage we have this Twilight Chinchilla's name garland which again we got in our haul from Heather and quick calling a haul it was a trade <laughs> but I need to add little hearts on either end for Finley and Tabitha's names because obviously they're not on it and I'd like them to be on it eventually so to see how quick I get around to that but now I'll give you the overview of this these duos cage and see what you think there we go I'm going to start off in the kitchen area like I normally do okay so we've got a living world water bottle there with a handmade drip pad again which has got a little owl on then we've got food dishes which I need to actually feed them their pellets because I haven't had it yet then they've got a hay roller which is what I'm using instead of the hay box at the moment and Arabella is demonstrating how to sit on top and say hello to the piggies hey are you saying hello to the others they're all upstairs and all coming down apparently <laughs> so they've got this hay roller at the moment which is from Pets Play and I absolutely adore this sadly Pets Play is no longer open so you can no longer purchase these from her and again this food bowl was from Pets Play so sorry about that the liner print which is, I absolutely love it it's called Nerdy Animals I think and I got this from Susie from the Piggy Lounge and I got two 1x2 pads made up and I absolutely adore them he's rumbling at Arabella <laughs> okay so then that food bowl there is from Pets at Home and the main liner here is a Cozy Beds and Burrows liner and I really really like her liner so that goes the whole length of it then we've got a big like bar microfiber mat and this was from eBay my friend Katie from Guinea Pig Weekly she uh, linked me on eBay for these mats because they were really really cheap and obviously they're quite large so I decided to pick up like them in like all different colours so that's that and then we've got another one of these corn rollers which were for Finley's birthday weren't they? 
did get them a bit early, but I thought they might as well enjoy them. Why are you getting so excited? It's because I started rattling that. I think I'm getting something. <laughs> You're not getting anything. We've had veggies. You have. You had them before. So yeah, we've got this microfiber mat and then we've got a little pom-pom fleece ball which is from Pets at Home cat section. And we've got a Playtime Little Critter Creations little cake pop. Some little twigs again from Chinchilla's Tea Shop. And the hay tunnel there in the back again with a pad in it and that's from the Happy Pet Company I think. Then we've got a rosewood hanging basket toy which has been eaten a little bit more than last time. The girls over there, they did have one before but I had to replace it with the hot air balloon because they kind of destroyed it. So yeah, these two are saying hello and Finley wants to get in. But there you go. And then in the back there we've just got a little bunny toy which I made for Easter. And then right in the back corners we have one little cuddle cup which has been squashed. And these are both from the Piggy Lounge and they're in that nerdy animal print and then we've got a snuggle sack and I've put like an extra pad like bed thing in it because obviously if they do we, it's gonna need to be changed out quicker then there's a hanging parrot toy in the back and then there is a flower pets play toy then leading up from there we have the ramp that takes them all the way up and we have again some handmade liners that I made for this section again and we have a chinchillas two shop little rat and heart toy we have a bunny plush which was from h&m and we have a cozy beds and burrows hammock i want to get another one of these one of the wire things because that the girls don't have one and i only have one so need a second one having two cages now um so i'm interested to see what they think of this because these two haven't had it before so i'm interested and then we've got a guinea pig weekly sticker here and again we have one on the other side just there which is a little dinosaur piggy on the bottom of the liner again you can see these little kind of characters so we've got a little fox and we've got a f owl <laughs> i was about to call it something else but those are again from charles bibb so i just cut the straps off then we've got a handmade toy in the background there which is some loofah and some bamboo things I think and some little wood. And then we've got a little pet play bow toy. We've got the like little activity centre that I made. And then lastly we have a Squeak Dreams little hoodie hut. And this is so so cute. It's in like kind of like a woodlandy print and I thought the colours went really really nicely with this particular the uh, blue in this. So this is, we've had this again <laughs> a long, long while, I think when ne nearly when I first got Daphne, so Daphne's over a year, so it's it's been a good while and it's lasted really well and we absolutely love this bed, so that's that. So what I'll do now, I'll just give you one last overview of each cage. Sorry if I'm a bit wobbly. There we go. And the loft. And they've already moved their cuddle cups. <laughs> I feel that might have been Miss Daphne because she always likes to move beds. And Arabella is half sleeping in the tunnel. So that's cute. But that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing the new themes. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching. And I shall speak to you in my next one. Goodbye everyone.